I want to learn how to troubleshoot a gas-fired heating furnace. That's what this video is about. This here is a rooftop, Aeon rooftop, gas-fired heating furnace with cooling. That's your cooling call. And this is a no heat service call. So I'm going to be going through from start to finish, troubleshooting and diagnosing the problem with this here gas-fired heating furnace. All right. So stay tuned for that. But before we get into the video, as always, before we get into the video, um, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you hadn't subscribed and smash that bell icon. So when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. All right. So there is the heating furnace right down there. All right. It's a heating section. I'm gonna remove this cover right here and I'm gonna just troubleshoot it. Like the thermostat downstairs right now is calling for heat, but as you could see, nothing is happening. I've got no fan, nothing is going on. It's just quiet. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so the first tool that I'm gonna use and I'm going to leave some these these tools in the description, links to them. Um, so the first tool I'm going, to, I'm going to need is my tester. And the reason why I'm going to need my tester, voltage or voltage home meter, is because I want to make sure or ensure that one, I have power supply to the unit. Key, key, key. Make sure you have power supply. And number two, make sure my thermostat is working, that is calling. Okay. All right. If you got questions leave in the comment section i'm going to show you how to troubleshoot diagnose the heating gas fired heating furnace right here in this video stay till the end okay so i got my meter ready and i'm set to the ac voltage scale boom right there if you're a beginner ac volts all right so first thing i'm gonna go ahead and check make sure i got power supply this is a three-phase unit so i go across line one line two and we have potential 215 volts next set two and three we have potential my test leads is touching not touching touching not touching and then the other set that is how you test your three for that is how you test for three phase power <coughs> Okay, you can see we have 214, 215, we got power. Now the next thing I want to do, we want to check for our uh, low voltage or control voltage or 24 volt, uh, volt uh, power. So, um, let me see if I can zoom here. Yeah, great. Also, let me zoom in over here so you can see what it looks like, three phase power. You know, one, just like right here first. You just like this right here. And you just like this right here. All right, let's do that. So yeah, so no low voltage, onto the low voltage, 24 volts. This is what goes to your thermostat and what controls and tells the system to turn on whether cooling or heating. Okay, this is a cooling and heating system, but we're looking at the heating furnace right now. All right, heating, heating, this video is about heating troubleshooting. All right, so we're gonna go and check right here. We got the R, which is a uh, 24 volts hot. Okay, and uh, we should go for C, and I don't see any C here for common. Uh, there is a E, however. Let's see, there's an E. Let's see what the E stands for. I think I see the E right here. Panel is moving. There's, there's the E right here. Terminal block. LT, LT, LVTB, low voltage terminal block. Acronym. So there's the R, which is uh, off your transformer right here. Oh, this has to be the transformer, isn't it? Oh no, not the trans. It's like it's a terminal block or something. CSTB. I have to look at the schematic, the the legend to see what that is. But here is a HAR, which is 24 volts hot, and and uh, here is the black, which goes to E. And because this goes to ground, automatically I know that's your uh, that's your common, you know. And as a matter of fact, we trace back up here, there's your transformer right here. All right, 24 volts. So one comes around, that's the black, which comes around to he, so that's your common. Some people call it C. This manufacturer, Aeon, calls it he. 
and the R obviously is going to be the other side of the transformer but it seems like it routed around through some of the stuff before it gets back over here because uh, this is one side of the transformer here and that's the other side it goes up here uh, comes around over there goes over there and then eventually that's the same red wire comes back over here with that Gonna we're not gonna diverge or divulge too much into that. Let's get back to the next step. So we are going to check for R and E, which is R and C, and we got 26 volts. Now the next thing is to check between C and W1 to see if your thermostat is calling. Okay, like that. And yup, it's calling, baby. Nothing is happening. Alright. And let me check if it's calling for a second stage as well. Uh, w2 Okay on W2 and W2 is not calling but W1 is calling Okay, so it's calling for first stage uh, This one W1 But it's not calling for second stage. So let's do it again Go on E which again is a common and You can see I got 24 volts and if I go on E and W2 Nothing said so second stage heat is not calling so we're calling nothing is happening okay um let's uh move to the next step which i'm gonna remove this cover right here so i can see up inside of the furnace you can see the ignition controller and then i'm gonna look at the schematic and see if there's anything in line uh what where does my 24 volts go first once it leave the terminal terminal block right here where it goes to first so stay tuned Usually fast, faster than this because I'm doing a video for you guys. You know, it's taking a little bit longer. It takes a little bit longer. I'm doing a video for you guys. So okay. here it is. Um, so I'm going to look at the schematic and see, you know, where my signal goes first. All right, and then that's how you troubleshoot. All right, so I'm just gonna pause right here real quick while I, while I see, read the schematic. Once I find it, I'll show you guys and then we test it together. Stay tuned. All right, so I've looked at the schematic. I pretty much figured out the, the logics of this. Let's put my, this thing is moving all over the place. Again, this is real world, so that's what happens here. So from your terminal block, the heating signal, 24 volts from W01. Let's see if I'm zoomed. Yeah. From W1, which we have 24 volts right here, 24 volts goes, comes around. So it goes two places. This red wire here, this red wire goes to the this relay here. This relay is called acronym CR, combustion relay. That's an acronym, and you can look in the legend for that. Uh, where is it? Uh, CC, CF. Uh, where is it? CR, right there. All right, CR, combustion relay, okay? Believe me when I tell you. <laughs> uh, combustion relay. And this is a CM, combustion fan motor, right? And this is a combustion fan motor. And that's not running right now. It should be, based on the schematic, the logic, it should be because uh, we set in 24 volts from W all the way to CR. So we're gonna energize CR. Uh, once CR closes, we're gonna pass line one and line two this is this is two two power right here that goes over to the motor power the motor up all right so this is the contacts on the under on the relay cr relay once there closes the combustion motor gets power these two lines should go trace back to line one line two power i won't divulge too much in that but here it goes back up here that's your main power supply right here you can see that um coming around and the same power you know they goes to different components but uh it does parallel down to this relay here okay so let's find this relay the first thing we're going to check and also the next thing that the w1 our, our heating signal one does it comes down here it goes to the safeties and from the safeties this is a um, als i think some limit switch uh, again you you can look on the legend ls auxiliary limit okay auxiliary limit and this is R ros this thing is a rollout limit ros let's see what that's acronyms for 
rollout switch. I think it's rollout switch. ROS, 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 uh, R, uh, ROS, rollout switch. Okay. And you know, this is the, the DP switch, DPS. So this switch, guys, was, is only going to close if the combustion mode is running. So it's an air proofing switch, which is this switch right here. This one. And it's attached to the inlet or the outlet discharge of this fan right here. So if this fan is not running, the that switch is going to be open and the ignition sequence won't start. So if I'm going to take a um, I'm going to say that right now this ignition module right here, ignition, ignition controller, is not getting power and there's no ignition sequence because this switch is open. I'm, assume, I'm going to assume that all these are closed. This one is closed. This, this, I think this is the main limit. It's closed. But this one is open so we're not getting that W um, signal into the TH terminal here where we can start our ignition sequence via our ignition controller. So unless we get 24 volts over here, right here, which is the white slash orange wire and that's a THM right on the ignition controller ignition control ignition sequence won't start and um, so we're gonna have to focus on this right here this right here but in order to do that we're going to go controls we're gonna look at this relay because this relay controls this motor combustion motor all right so here's the relay um, they took in this unit there everything is labeled so you see a uh, combustion relay right there and if you can see that let me see, let me see if I can zoom in there is your CR okay boom all right. zoom back zoom back in all right so guys looking at this I think I could see a problem already you know I don't understand what's going on here I see power supply I know someone was in here and they know they, know, they don't seem to know what they're doing because um, you know I, I don't get this these these are the wires that goes to the I, I don't get this is power supply right here so we should we should have on the relay we should have the coil which is a control and let's test that and see if we got 24 volts but I think I see the problem or problem already I see what's going on someone was in here poking around and they didn't, didn't know what they were doing let's see if I can get my test leads hold on I'm gonna pause the video okay guys so I'm back here so I have my test leads on the relay coil I know it's a bit difficult to see I got one on top and one on the bottom okay and as you can see my 24 volts from my W are eating signal from my thermostat 24 volts slash eating signal slash W1 is getting to my combustion relay. So my relay is closed, but so this part of the relay is good, has been satisfied. The coil, right? That's, that part is good. But these where you see the line one supposed to be right here, line one, line two, and the other side T1, T2 goes back to your motor. But look what's going on on this relay right here. So I got line one, line two here, all right? All right? And, um, and you see it comes off of this right here, which is actually main power, okay? That's main power. Um, but, um, cause there's a fuse right here, you know? And there's no fuses, there's no fuses on the outlet of this. This relay just goes straight into the motor, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, I don't even know what's going on here cause there's no fuses on the inlet of this right here. This is not a fuse, this is a, uh, another, um relay so you know maybe these fuses where are these fuses yeah these fuses all the way up here these are the fuses all right these are the fuses these two these fuses right here i don't think so because these are three fuses this is two fuses and i think these are the fuses right here this one you know but um all right but these are the fuses <laughs> i'm going crazy here but anyways uh, basically no need to, to divulge too much into that but we can see that something I got to figure out now oh look here you go see oh look at that someone unplugged this why did they unplug this it's crazy so we're getting we're getting the power just one side coming from the off of these contactors right here it's the same power which is supposed to be wait a minute this doesn't make any sense yeah 
okay so power from the power this is the power coming off the fuses right here two fuses and I could check that all right check that you try to do this while explaining it but um, here it goes we got power so definitely we have power here that means we have power here okay and um, so which means we got power on one side of the relay now here's the two wires that's supposed to go to the motor now, I don't know why this is disconnected maybe someone was here another technician disconnected I don't know exhaust motor what combustion relay okay so why is it disconnected shaking my head right now so I'm gonna connect that let's see what happens I guess I see why it's not connected. The motor is no good. The motor is no good. All right. That's it. So that's it, guys. That's the diagnostics. This motor is bad, but apparently someone was here before and they did disconnect the motor um, because they had found out that motor is no good. Well, that's the diagnostic. All right, if you got question about this video, leave it in the comment section. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis.